friends, welcome to your daily dose of AI education. Today we're going to be reviewing the most popular natural language terms and acronyms. AI is used in a lot of natural language use cases, like maybe you're on a skincare website and you're chatting back and forth with a chatbot to try and figure out what to buy. Maybe you're processing high volumes of things with words like media articles or loan applications and you're trying to better categorize them. Or maybe it's smart customer support ticket routing and you're trying to figure out how to better triage emails. It's all about taking what is said, breaking it down, understanding the meaning, and then taking action based off of that meaning. So we're gonna run through a couple terms. First up, we've got NLP, which stands for natural language processing. It's sort of the whole gamut of what we're talking about. And it includes the manipulation, understanding, and generation of language. It's mostly focused on turning unstructured text like paragraphs, tweets, emails, or doctor's notes into structured data like code, representations, or numbers, something that a computer can actually understand. Processing includes a lot of things. Here are some examples. You got named entity recognition, NER, super popular. An example would be like you're filling out a medical form and it's able to recognize what's a phone number or a city. You got part of speech tagging as another example. This is sort of like eighth grade English, labeling a word as an adverb or a verb. And then even something like lemmatization, which is all about finding the root of a word. So if you've got the word ran, ran becomes run. So that's NLP. Next up is NLU, which stands for Natural Language Understanding, which is a component of NLP. All NLU is also NLP. NLU centers on analyzing the content and categorizing the text. This may include things like sentiment analysis. Let's say you've got lots of product reviews and you're trying to figure out which ones are positive or negative. Could include things like relation extraction, like if you've got a 50 page contract and you're trying to figure out in one specific phrase who owes what to whom, or even something like semantic parsing, which is converting a normal sentence that you'd say to a friend or in this video into something that's machine understandable. So that's NLU. Last up, we've got NLG, which is natural language generation. It's the computer writing brand new text, a new movie title, a brand new paragraph on its own. Some examples, uh, this could look like summarization where you're providing it a news article and it's writing a short synopsis. It's not just pulling out a paragraph, it's literally writing a new summary. Could look like email support. You provide an outline or you provide a couple bullets and the system will expand it into a full written email or even the creative writing space. You're providing an input, something like a, a brand description, and it's able to write a hundred ads for you. You can still go in and edit and pick your favorite one. So it's sort of like augmented creative writing. Three small definitions, but bonus definitions that might come up in the NLP space, like you saw with the phrase semantic parsing. So three. First up, syntax, the grammar, sort of the rules and order of the words in the text. Second would be semantics, semantic parsing, which is the meaning of the text. And then pragmatics is a third one, the context, the use, the goals of the text. So I hope that helps. That was a brief overview of some top terms in NLP. Comment below, shoot me a DM of any AI content that you'd like to see in the future. But I hope that helps as you guys continue your AI learning journey. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.